This is a lesson on Montuno guitar. I'll be playing it on an Aria Jazz box. This would also work very well on a classical guitar. Let's go ahead and play the example and you'll see how it works. All right, you have four chords on this. You start with the C minor 7, and obviously this is a finger style. You'll be using the thumb on all of the lowest voices and then index, middle, and ring as you ascend in pitch. If you're not accustomed to finger picking, study some classical guitar, but remember that you want to plant. If you can't plant effectively, you're not going to be able to find the strings, and you have to also apply staccato, right hand staccato on some of these passages. So take note of my right hand. Make sure the voices are balanced, meaning you hear all of them. Don't move your hand around, don't twist, and all that kind of nonsense, just... So... Notice what I'm doing with the right hand. I come in and I plant on those two voices, move over, same two notes. And you might want to practice letting it be legato. That's a 2-5 progression in a key of B flat right there. C minor 7 to F9. Then you apply your staccato. See that? Both left hand right hand staccato will apply. Planting, it allows you to get that right hand staccato. Then you're going to move up to a D minor 7 flat 5. One of the best friends you have as a guitarist, from a technical standpoint, are guide fingers. So your fourth finger was on the second string when you played the F9. You block. Notice how you always block. The right hand leads the left, meaning you come in and play, dampen the strings so you don't get any open strings, and it's also efficient. So your fourth finger slid up to the F. You have the D minor 7 flat 5. Then you're going to move down, and your third and your fourth fingers will be guide fingers. You're playing the root and the third of that G augmented. Then your bass line goes over to the third. So the second half, you see that? Now I would encourage you to explore other fingerings for this passage. I would also encourage you to take this progression and move it around with different voicings. Experiment. Because, you know, you don't want to just understand how to play one, one way when you play a progression. Make sure you experiment with different bass lines. And also, you can get a little busier. Put some bass line. I'm just coming right out of the chord. Have fun with this one. <laughs>